Hi, and welcome to SeaTech. I'm Tony Zeal, and in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to connect our Pro 25S Professional Workshop battery charger and power supply. But before I start, I'd like to say a big thank you for buying SeaTech. So, let's see the Pro 25S in action. Okay, one thing to remember, don't connect the charger to the power outlet just yet. Always connect the charger to the battery first before you switch on the power. Now, the Pro 25S has special programs for traditional lead acid batteries and lithium batteries. But for this part of the video, we'll be connecting to a regular 12 volt lead acid battery using the battery's positive and negative terminals. Please remember that if you're connecting the ground or earth to the vehicle, they must be connected to a suitable point on the vehicle's bodywork. Different vehicles nowadays might have specific charging points. So if that's the case with the vehicle you're working on, take a look at the vehicle owner's manual. That should tell you the correct charging procedure for that particular vehicle. Right, let's get back to charging this battery. First, take the red clamp and clamp it to the red positive terminal on the battery. Then take the black clamp and clamp it to a suitable earth or ground point on the vehicle's body. In this case, we're using the battery's black negative terminal. Don't worry if you get this round the wrong way at first. The charger has got inbuilt reverse priority protection, so the battery and the charger won't get damaged in any way. The Pro 25S is also spark free, so there's no risk of sparking if the clamps accidentally touch together. Now, take the temperature sensor and place it either inside the red clamp or as close to the battery as you can. The sensor will automatically adjust the charger's voltage to the ambient temperature and prevent the battery from overheating or overcharging so it always gets the optimum charge. Okay, now it's time to power up. So plug the charger into your power outlet. When the charger's on, the green power LED will light up. You can now set the charger to match the type of battery using the mode button. The first time you switch it on, the charger will be in normal mode, indicated by the orange LED. This is the mode you need for a regular lead acid battery. Pressing the mode button continuously will cycle through the charger's different programs in this order. From normal, press again for lithium. This program is for lithium batteries which are generally used in performance vehicles. The next mode is supply which turns the Pro 25S into a stable 13.6 volt power supply. This is a very useful function in the workshop as it provides battery support and protects sensitive electronics during diagnostic work. Finally, press again for recond mode. This program has been specially developed to restore and recondition a lead acid battery if it's out of condition or even dead. It only works with the lead acid batteries, so it'll be added to the end of the normal charging process to help maximize the battery's life. And one more press puts the charger back into normal mode. When you've set the correct mode for the battery, you're ready to go. You can just leave the charger connected to do its job safely. If you need to stop the charging process at any time, no problem you can disconnect the charger without damaging the charger or the battery. So using the Pro 25S is as simple as that. Thanks for watching. 